the beautiful Amber Lawrence there with Always Kiss Me Goodnight. Just gone ten past seven there. And normally when you're kissing me goodnight, I'm in a bit of a strange days there, Big D. How's oh, that? a bit of a segue oh, there. Getting them in, I am. Goodness gracious course, me. She loves the segue here, doesn't hey, she? Hey, you normally get them in before me, but we won't continue arguing because... But do you love me? Yeah, okay. Right. Are you going to keep going, are No, you? no, I'm not. We're um, a very special guest, a uh, man from uh, from Bundy Way, around Bundaberg's true blue Queenslander, so you know what he'll be drinking. There's so no doubt about that. we're going to call him Pete the Bear O'Brien. How's that? Pete. What do you think of that, Pete? Pete the Bear. I love it. <laughs> Pete the Bear O'Brien. And, of course, we are talking to Pete O'Brien with his brand new album out, Strange Days. So you are a Bundabergian. Yes, yeah. I was actually born in Brisbane, but I've, I've been up here all my life. Ah, but you're still a Queenslander, so that's okay. Yes. So there we go. This new, see, there you go. You can change your name now. Pete the Bear. Oh, uh, you know, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait. actually, when you were going, when you were just talking just then, I thought you were actually reading right through. I was just waiting for someone to say, I love you. I know, yeah. he was waiting, but you know, I haven't got my red dress on. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious me. Now, it, it's fair to say that the um, the prominence of Pete O'Brien really hit with uh, We All Live in the Same Town. Uh, a lot of people would have seen that from the, the links from the Courier Mail and so forth after the floods, the devastating floods of, uh, of uh, mm. 2011. 11. Uh, 2011, and uh, a, a tribute song that was there uh, must have... Um, uh, must have been a been a great feeling to be able to uh, to touch people with that uh, with a song like that. Yeah, it was it was a truly amazing time. Um, it was a bad time, um, but there's a lot of you know, there was something bad. There's always something good that happened, and, and the rebuilding and um, and just seeing people come together that that was that was fantastic. We actually did a, a Guinness Book of Records um, attempt up here, and we had big you know big hairy bikey type guys. They were crying in the front row. Oh, yeah, it, it was just an emotional, a magical time. Mm. And because it is, it is when when things sort of hit home. How, how was it for you in in Bundaberg? Well, we haven't really spoken to anyone from Bundaberg around when we did have that big floods going through. Yeah, well, we sort of copped it before you guys did down there, and um, and you know, like we're. You'd be driving through the streets and that, and one day everyone would be going, "Oh wow, look at that! Look at that! that that's unbelievable! Just like a circus." Then the next day, um, it all hit home, and you know that's when you saw the people walking through the streets with their clothes and their bags on on top of their heads, and that's all they had. You know, it was it was an amazing time, and and that's when I thought to myself, "Well, I've got to show you know, show show people what what's what's happened here," and so I wrote the song and put a bit of a video clip to it and yeah it was just amazing the effect that it had we had um we have relatives in uh, mundubra a little bit further down the burnett river and uh and you know they were they were inundated like a lot of the communities along the burnett river Ga- uh, gainder mundubra and so forth um uh, very touching very telling time for uh, a community that had been in drought for so long uh to be broken in such a devastating way yeah it- what sort of got me is um, out of that whole experience of that, the, the floods and stuff, was the community coming together for the rebuilding. Like mm-hmm. that, it was just absolutely magical. Like you had strangers helping strangers, and and you know with, with you guys in Brisbane, you, you saw that. Um, and what you guys were experiencing, we had just experienced it. It was just like a, a snowball flow, flow on effect. Um, and, and just, you know, like I remember the uh, the Brisbane, uh, the Mud Army, mm. you know, coming together. It was amazing. And because no one call us right, this, the spirit of, of the Queenslander. <clears throat> and look, That's I'm not just it. saying it's Queensland because we saw the spirit all the way through New South Wales and whenever there is fires or floods or anything, the spirit of the Australian, I think, actually comes to mind there. Yes, very, very true. I'm, I'm a very, very proud Aussie. And, yeah. um, and come state of origin time, you know, Go that Queen. <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> yeah, we can't help ourselves here. <laughs> the we noticed when we look at the album, the um, uh, Panda Productions in Nashville, USA. How did the association come about to uh, to to put um, you know ninety percent of this uh, this album down uh, in Nashville? Um, I, w- I was sort of looking at all different avenues of um, you know and, and budget and, and all these type of things. 
Um, and I got in contact with a guy called Dan Drilling over there who um, owns Panda Productions. And, you know, and, and he sort of gave me a really good deal. And, and so Nashville had been through the flood too. So they had sort of done a little bit of research on, on myself and, and what had happened here. And um, I remember in one email um, he said to me, I'll look after you, buddy. I'll look after you. You know, and and he did like the the musicians that are on in in the in the backing band is unbelievable who they have played for. You know, like you've got um, guys that have played for Dolly Parton, Willie Nelson, um, the um, keyboardist or the piano player was on Katie Lang's um, album. Yeah, you know, it's just, it's amazing, and it, he did really look after me. It cost me a lot of money, but <laughs> he did really look after me with the the high you know, musicians that were on it. You feel like you're really rubbing shoulders with the elite when you've got those sort of musicians uh, uh, and and playing music that you've you've penned yourself. Yeah, well, that, that's it. And and to have yeah the musicians, a lot of the comments that came back through the studio um, were that the guys were, as they were saying. They, they really dig, um, you know, getting into it. And, and they loved it. They had fun with the album. Um, you know, like, because the, the bouncy songs, the, the rocky songs, you know, they really love getting up and getting with it. And the emotional ones, well, you know, they, apparently there's a few tears of one day in, in the studio over there too. So. I bet you I know what track that was as well. Yeah, track that five. would have been... Yeah, sorry. Track five, goodbye, Dad. That's the one. Oh, seriously, <laughs> I had this in the car the other day, and I've gone, no, nah, turned off. I couldn't listen to it. And it's the same as that Tears in Heaven, Bob. What's his name? Eric Clapton. That unfamous mm. man, Eric yeah, Clapton. Eric Clapton. <gasps> My goodness, and I've gone. I got halfway through that. Yeah, no, I'm not listening to that. So I turned it off because I, nope, I'm not going to cry in the car. But yeah, so um, have we said goodbye to Dad? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was um, over 20 years ago now. Because you can really hear it, and I'm like, oh, my God, what's, what is this man doing to me? So, next song. <laughs> <laughs> so we're not playing that tonight because we're not crying tonight. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Well, there is, yeah, there's, it's, it's, there's a lot of, I'm just looking at the back of the album myself at the moment. There's so much about love and, you know, it's, I suppose you could say it's about sharing the love, too, <laughs> the, the oh, yeah. album. <laughs> Now, um, track one we're going to be featuring tonight, Country Boy, is uh, is that autobiographical? Country Man. Country Man, is that uh, autobiographical? Is it a true story? Is that is that is that um, Pete O'Brien, in a nutshell? Um, I'll, I'll be honest, probably not. Um, <laughs> Please don't tell me you're the man in the red dress. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just, I'm just the guy who wants to love somebody. <laughs> oh, see, you're a big softy. See, you're a big bear. Then I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not the bear thing. <laughs> uh, the, um, no, with with country man, um, it's about you know the the hard working, um, the true Australian hard working outback guy. Um, a, a, a little story if I may uh, I've got a friend in Gundawindi and um, and when he first heard that track um, he was playing it and, and he, he just said that just fitted every guy and you know big muscular um, Aussie guy in Gundawindi that, that, that track just absolutely fitted each one well, we're going to play it for all the Gundy guys, I reckon. Yeah. What about that? We'll play it for all the country men, all the men around the country, because, I mean, uh, let's face They've it, this is country music show. They've got the stains under their show. cowboy hats and, yeah. That's it. It's fantastic. Mate, uh, really good good luck with the album. Someone wants to get hold of it. What's the best way for them to do that? Yeah, best way is um, going to the website, which is uh, pedobryanmusic.com. Um, and also, I'm, I'm going to be uh, going to Tamworth. I'm doing quite a lot of shows down there, too, so they can you know, come up and see me and say hi, and, and uh, I'll have a few albums on me there, too. Grab a copy of it. It's a, it's a terrific album. We've gone through it. It's got uh, it's got some great love songs on it, some emotional stuff, and uh, a couple of really good dancing. good rocky songs there too. Great Things mix. like Country Men, uh, Southern Cross is a is a good yeah, good. good song, and uh, Red Dress will certainly get you dancing as well. So it's a great it's a great album. Congratulations to you, mate. Uh, it's great to see the independents out there um, putting out some uh, excellent product uh, that that they've self penned. And done a great job of it. Uh, we really um, sincerely mean that, Pete. Good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Pete, have a nice, safe, and happy Christmas, and enjoy yourself while you're down there in Tamworth. And we'll catch up with you in the new year. Excellent. We'll do.